Hey, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos. We have Sugar Fur available in the Hero Stole Fire Sale Hero, another Fire Element Ninja. A huge thanks to everyone out there using my support creator code Loka Hansen to support my work in the Epic Games Store and the Battle Breakers game. I'm deeply honored about your support. Remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my support creator code or click my support creator link. Anyway guys, let's get back to Sugar Fur. TLDR kind of stuff, is this a hero you must buy? Absolutely not. Not in any way. Is it a good hero? Absolutely. It is surprisingly strong and it is very, very, very fun to play with. It is another one of those Kagebushi no Jutsu kind of heroes. You guys probably know the effect from Wukong. You summon a clone that summons more clones and you pretty much just flood the board like crazy with clones. The huge difference here is that when Sugar Fur attacks, it will actually demolish each and every one of the clones, enabling it to attack one additional time for every clone on the field. This means that Sugar Fur can attack a gazillion times in a map because it's just gonna flood it with clones, allowing for absolutely crazy damage but also for some pretty interesting synergies because so far we only really had the golem god Dao that created allies that were guaranteed to be removed but now we have another which allows us to have allies that die. Now when allies die some heroes get crazy boosts such as Lugu that gains a lot of power but we also have Vine Queen Eli that will spawn additional allies when allies are removed so you can flood out with vines and when i mean golem master dao the water element version of golem god dao actually reduces the cooldown of your heroes whenever an ally is slain when it when it dies so you can really start packing in a lot of different heroes towards ally death when you are playing with sugar fruit so that is like, we have a lot of potential, we have a lot of things that we can do, that is the good news. The bad news is the AI's bunkers stupid and never plays the hero anywhere close to the right way, using mana at the wrong times, attacking like the wrong things, sacrificing units out of nowhere, but it is, it is a fun hero to play. So one downside is auto play. The AI is, is, <laughs> is not intelligent. Uh, another thing is that auto play with Sugar Fur is very, very slow because this stuff. It's gonna fill up the board, then they're gonna be taking turns doing nothing else than summoning new clones or like some kind of an auto attack, which means that if you are a late game player and you kind of just want to enjoy your grind or optimize your grind so that it takes as little time as possible then sugar fur is a horrible hero it's not going to give you fast area of effect damage it's not going to allow you to get past some of those tricky situations that that you may be unable to to push fast forward through but it is a very very fun hero like you can see here, it's going all in bunkers of this one small unit and we have like a mini boss kind of thing right there. That's the AI for you just burning everything completely. But the synergies are, are really real with the Sugar Fur Hero. One of the other things you can do that is always fun is to have a lot of minions, sacrifice them with your basic attack to go crazy, and then revive them all again with Lightbringer Silesia. So they just come back and each and every time they die, your Lubu is going to get stronger. You can boost them up with anything that boosts fire heroes as well. The main downside of the setup that we have with Sugar Fur is that the skill up allows your, your clones to get a higher dodge rate. And they're going to die the next time you also attack any anyway. So it's not really bringing anything like extra to the table that you skill him up based on what I have like seen when I've played with him so far. So anyway guys, that was pretty much what I had to share about the new Sugar Fur Hero. A must buy, not in any way. A fun hero, absolutely. A good auto play hero, uh, I don't think so. Anyway guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.